what up what up what up what up what up it is me should be here back at it again with another video and child my head is lowered in shame because truth is i'm tired options are few just kidding options are abundant because we are in an abundant lifestyle but your girl has been mia again and it's like it's just not given what it's supposed to give my new job, I'm working in a new borough in New York City, literally in Midtown, period. Um, but it's been a lot because I wake up at like 4.45 a.m. Then I don't get home till like 6.30 because I do night school. Um, so your girl be tired, tired. But we're gonna do a reset video. I'm gonna kinda introduce you to my life and what it's been like the past couple of months. Um, we officially moved in September 1st, so you guys will get like the new getting my life together in this new space and what that looks like. I already did my nails yesterday, so that's one thing checked off the list for today. It is Sunday, October 30th. Tomorrow is the 31st, so I'll also do like a get ready with me type video so you guys can see what that's about with my, you know, 4.45 a.m. life you know one of the girlies but in the meantime in between time because this is not what this video is about let's get into how i'm gonna get my life together for the month of november and what that looks like for Mwah. okay so the first thing we're gonna start off with is like my favorite things um for the month of october and the first one is my beloved ninja blender i've been making like a green smoothie every morning and Y'all, it's been helping me feel like I'm that girl, like period. The second, and it really should be number one for real to me, is my lovely Peloton. Let me see if I can turn on the light for you guys so you can like see it. Okay. So I've literally had this thing for a month and I am a Peloton girly, like, there's no if, answer, but about it. I've been on it every single day since I got it or have taken a class. So let me show you guys. Okay, so let's log in. Voila. Yes, boo, you see? You see that? Period. So let's actually go into my account so you guys can see my calendar. Like, your girl. Your girl's been using it every single day. I love it, I adore it, we love it here. So definitely my favorite thing. Highly, highly, highly recommend the Peloton, mainly because I'm able to work out before I leave in the morning. And even if I do wake up late, then at least I'm able to come home and work out when I want to on my own time. Y'all know one of my goals for all of my <laughs> videos has been to go to the gym or work out at least three times a week. Child, it just was not happening. So I came to the realization that the method I was using was not about to bring me to success or the health and fitness goals that I wanted. So RD, it was like, girl, get your life together. Just get you a little Peloton. We went to the Peloton store. I still wasn't convinced because I was like, I don't want to drop all this money on something that I'm not going to use. Like that would just be so wasteful. But I ended up buying it secondhand from Facebook Marketplace. So the shoes, the Peloton, the mat, the weights, everything was a total of $900, including like them putting it together. Um, whereas in the store, it was like 1500. But yeah, so that is definitely my favorite thing. I have been using it for a month. I've been seeing low key changes in my body. Y'all see this little double chin action? I'm like, what the hell? That's been going on for a little bit and I'm trying to like, do some more cardio to get rid of that. But what I'm noticing is a lot of women in my age group, you know, have a little, so I don't know what that's about, but if you are under the age of 25, your body is going to do weird things. We accept it because body acceptance, but also we want to be our most confident self. So your girl is working on getting rid of this little, I don't even know what it is, double chin action. Cause that's, that's not going to work. Flowers are like my jam. So, <laughs> I don't buy them, RD does. You know, I take care of all of our house plants. We have 23, by the way, 23. They're all over. Um, but the fresh flowers definitely add a little va-va-voom, a little razzle-dazzle, and we're here for it. 
very affordable, like under $5, just to add some like liveliness and color to the place. All of our plants are beautiful, but they're all <laughs> um, green, which is kind of like the aesthetic of our place is like brick, green, wood, and white, as you can see. Um, so it always brings a little pop of color, which I really appreciate. And then last but not least, is a book club book for the month of November, essentially, because we haven't fully started, is the book My Money, My Way by Kamoko Love. Kamiko, sorry, by Kamiko Love. This is also The Budget Mom. This is our book for book club this month. And it's really like a get back to the basics books. We were on sabbatical or I was on sabbatical, which means book club was on sabbatical for the summer. And we're coming back. We met two weeks ago where we just kind of talked and went over our intentions and goal setting. And then this week we're diving into the first three chapters of the book. And again, it's just like a good reset. Everything has changed in terms of finances, like inflation is crazy. Things that used to cost one thing now cost much, much more. So I just thought it was a good idea to come back to the basics and to really focus in on being in alignment with our money and spending money in a way that you're proud of while also making adjustments to show that you have the discipline. Because a lot of times for people, it's not that they can't, it's just that they don't prioritize it. And if you want your money to be a priority, we need to sit down and figure out what is your why, what is important to you, and then what are the things that work best for you to make it happen? So for example, the Peloton. I wanted to be a girly that went to the gym at least three times a week. I wanted to be the girly that like worked out and was healthy and fitness, but it just wasn't happening because that wasn't the best method for me. But once I got that Peloton child, I have worked out every single day since I got it. So finances are very similar in the sense of you just have to find a method that works for you. We are all capable and able to live a life that's full of abundance and financial freedom. And that's what we're doing. So yes, those are my favorite things. And now let's get into making a budget making a but or should we do goals first let's do goals first we'll see it'll be a surprise keep watching y'all so for november um i started off with may november bring more peace love happiness and abundance so I broke it down into four categories, um, wellness, abundance, connections, and growth. Wellness, uh, basically being around like health, fitness, etc. So I want to work out three times a week and at least one time a week, it be strength. As I've been saying, I've been working out every single day. So I think this will be a very simple goal. I do believe that some of your goals just seem to be around building consistency and you need one. So that's that. Um, eat fruit at least once a day. There are some days where I go without eating fruit, um, maybe not like more than two days, but it does happen occasionally. So I wanna make sure that I'm increasing my fruit intake. I have been eating my green smoothies, but that's very like veggie based. And then I'm not eating as much fruit as I would like. So that's definitely something I wanna improve on for the month of November. And then also getting eight hours of sleep or rest a day. I have not been sleeping. Um, as much as I want, mainly because I've been trying to be like present and social and like, you know, it's the last year of my 20s. So to do the things and not just let work take over my life. But what that means is that I'm getting less sleep than what I would like or what I need to to be my healthiest self. Under abundance, I want to save $500. I want to invest 115 into just a traditional brokerage account. And then I want to meal prep. So this falls under, you know, financial goals and also under wellness goals just because if I meal prep I'm able to spend less money on eating out and I'm only allowing myself $50 to eat out for the whole month of November solo so I will be able to spend more in terms of like going out with friends or going out with RD but for myself $50 for the whole month um because you know things do happen I might want to go out with a co-worker or I might forget lunch one day that gives me a little bit of grace so connections which is just like spending time with friends and family. I wanna plan a, be a date with RD for like $175. I wanna have a meaningful phone conversation once a week. And I work from eight to 
five-ish. Um, so I get to work pretty early because I have to leave early to beat traffic and that morning time is like my time to get stuff ready for the lesson or to relax or to watch a sermon that I might have missed. Um, but I wouldn't be more intentional about that morning time to like journal and to goal set for the day and like breathe just to have like silence by myself and on the way home what I've been doing on days that I'm not completely just drained is I like to call people just to catch up because it's a nice opportunity to be on the phone and have conversations and to laugh and what I've recognized is that I'm a lot more connected even though I'm making like this hour commute on my way back home because it's rush hour at five o'clock um, at night but it allows me the opportunity to really talk to people that I don't often get the chance to talk to so that's something I just want to be a little bit more intentional about I also want to spend one hour a week for myself um, whether that's like continuing to do my nails or something that's just like for me to like breathe and to like not worry about the next goal or the the next thing just like time to listen to music to dance to have fun to draw to paint just something that's literally for the joy of it not to like build or to become a better person per se and then growth this is things that i want to do just for myself to build my imagination to build my creativity this is a section where it's not just about joy or like the other example connecting to myself um so one of them is reading one fictional book for the month completing all of my homework on time never in my life have i ever completed all of my homework on time despite my grades despite everything else um, i'm a really good student when it comes to homework like i'm always doing fifty thousand million things at once and i'm pretty good at prioritizing so like if i know a homework grade is worth this percentage of my grade like i'm not gonna put that much time or energy or i might just skip it all together um so or i might just not do it all the time um but i start school back up in november and the thing with it is like you don't get graded on homework but you do have a midterm that you did you do have a midterm and a final that you get graded on so those things are really important um so the homework isn't graded per se but like if you don't do the homework you won't know the content in order to take the exams that are necessary for the course um and then to complete or to write my three, two, one bonus once a week, which was definitely totally inspired by James Clear, who is the author of Atomic Habits. He has this weekly newsletter that I love, and I was inspired by him to create one for people in my community, um, the Bold Budgeter community, to create one specifically related to finances. So those are my November goals, and we will check back in to see how well I did. As you notice, some of them are focused on like, filming or growing my Instagram or anything like that like this month is going to be for me I just need time to like refocus um, and literally to reset now that I've been in my new apartment for two months so much change has happened over the last couple of months and I feel like November is a great place to kind of breathe and reset before Christmas and New Year's and allows me to like end the year off feeling strong and confident in the woman that I am, um, especially going into the next year of 2023, which is wild to say. So yeah, now let's go into the budget and um, end it off strong. All right, guys, so I am at work. Work has not started yet, so I have about 10 minutes to get this done so that everyone can kind of see what's going on here as I'm in a new place in my life um, and what this looks like. So my paycheck for this pay period, which is the 1st through the 15th of November, was $16.60. I'm expecting about $1,000. It might be a little bit more um, based on the overtime that I've done. And then other income, this is from like my Instagram reels was $306. Um, and that all accounts for what I expect to receive, which is $2,960 for this pay period. So as you all see, my living expenses have gone down significantly since moving in with my partner. So now I sold my co-op and I rent and my rent is $650. My car insurance, $127.53. 
my life insurance and disability insurance together is $80. So I just broke that up um, equally because those are fixed expenses and those are just non-negotiables. My life insurance is term insurance, which is a million dollar policy for 20 something years. Um, and the way that I did the math was basically like, when I have a million dollars in investments, I will be self-insured, so I no longer need life insurance. Disability insurance is forever um, because, you know, the older you get, the more likely the chances that you have a disability and you can no longer work. And it just helps with things so that you're not a burden to your family, like um, nursing homes, etc. All right. So my grocery budget is like really funky. Whole Foods is the closest grocery store to us. And if you know Whole Foods, you know it's really, really expensive. Um, so I'm gonna put in $200 for this pay period um, for groceries. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Um, gas, I'm guesstimating about 100. I'm gonna just put 120 to overestimate eating out. So for November, I only want to spend $50 for the month on eating out solo dolo. That's why it's $25 for this pay period and $25 for the next pay period. As of today, which is November 3rd, I have spent $0 on eating out um, for the past like week. So I'm really proud of that and I want to keep that up. So with this budget, there's like five weeks. There's not like, there are five weeks in November. So if I want to eat out, I can eat out basically once a weekday for $10. Now this does not include like date nights or eating out there. This is just me eating out while I'm at lunch. Easy pass, I have $198. So essentially the math on that is the most expensive toll I pay if I go the most expensive way, it's like $18. There's 11 work days within this pay period. So I just did $18 times 11, which is 198. So now we're gonna go over into like the savings slash sinking funds area. So actually I'm gonna switch this to say sinking funds. And sinking funds is just, again, like a savings that you're saving up towards something because you know you're gonna spend that money. So like car repair, I know I'm gonna need new tires, I know I'm gonna need oil change, that stuff. So for this month, I'm gonna try to put away an extra $100. Typically I do like 50 um, per pay period, but I'm gonna try for 100. Travel, um, I'm gonna do 50 for now. If I have more money left over, like I get more for my side hustle, I'll come back and change it. Date night, I said I wanted to spend 175. Self care, I am going to put that at 50, okay. Um, down payment, this is like a savings for a down payment towards um you know my future home the next home that i live in um and that's just 500 dollars a month i'm trying to do because i have extra income coming in this pay period i'm going to try to put a majority of that pm school money towards that down payment like sinking fund savings and then investments i want to put 150 dollars away for um, my regular brokerage account this isn't my 457 or my um, 403B. I did update my 457 by 1.5%, so now I'm at 6.5%, which is exciting. Okay, so extra debt, this includes a new credit card that I got, which is a Fidelity Visa. It gives you back 2% from all your purchases, and then it just buys more of the stock that you want. So I really, really like that and super excited. This right now has 0% interest. So I'm only paying the minimum payment for now, which is $40 um, a month. And then we'll see how it goes. I'll readjust um, because I have 18 months of no interest. And we'll see how I'm gonna strategize and use that strategically so that I can get the most of this no interest while also like not going back into crazy debt. And then flights, I did buy flights to see my mother for me and my aunt um, in a couple of weeks. And it wasn't originally part of my budget, so I did use my credit card, which I would have used anyway, just because I have travel insurance on the um, Chase Sapphire. 
The tickets were $190. They were on sale. That's why I bought them super like last minute, but I'm going to pay that back with this money now. The reason I have it as extra debt was because I wasn't anticipating buying it so early. So that's why like the money wasn't in a sinking fund to pay it off immediately, but I'm going to pay it off, but it's still debt for right now. So right now I have an extra $230 left over. So I'm going to go back in and see um, what I want to add. I'm going to say cosmetics um, or like things for the home. So I'll say home goodies. That's what I usually call it. And I will put $100. So this includes like laundry detergent, this detergent, um, anything for the house, candles. I actually do need to buy no more candles. Um, so we have... 20, oh wait, no, so let me do 75. I read that wrong, guys, sorry. There's now $49 left, and then here I'll do new cosmetics here, and then I will put $40, and I do need to buy new um, soap. So I'll do soap, and whatever I don't spend, I'll just roll over into a sinking fund over here. So I only have to buy soap, which is like $20. So the other 20 I'll roll over in cosmetics once I like get things together. Um, I have $9 left and I'm just gonna leave that as a little bit of a buffer. Um, but this is my budget for the first half of November and I'll come back after the 15th to kind of update you all on things that maybe I forgot or things that I needed to add. Just because again, I'm getting used to this new commute, I'm getting used to this new living area, and it's just giving me, it's just taking me some time to get used to all these new expenses, these new hours, etc. But yeah, so thanks y'all.